We are live on Facebook, Video Guys News Day Tuesday. New crowd, we got Oliver at the controls of the TC1 today. And now today's show is about NAB. But before we get to NAB, which of course is in April, my favorite time of the year, the real reason it's my favorite time of the year is hockey playoffs. My Islanders, 3-0 against the Penguins. Gotta love it. Don't know if we're going to get the sweep tonight, but I'd really love it if it happened. But there's nothing like playoff hockey, so please excuse me because I'm letting the beard grow a little while because i got my playoff beard going. Decided that I might trim it between rounds, but I'm not doing anything on this round while we're on this roll. But as the NAB show in Vegas, it was the first day of the playoffs on Wednesday. I said, what am I going to do? I said, I'm not going to shave my beard. i got to show my allegiance to the team, to hockey, to the suspicious hockey gods who always seem to be, we're a very suspicious kind of ha ha habit-based group. So I'm not going to get take any blame. I'm not shaving, so no one can blame any losses on me. I fully believe it's going to be a great series. I'd love to win it in four. I'd also love it to win it in five at home in the Coliseum. The last thing I want is this series going six or seven, because the longer it goes, the better it becomes for the Penguins. But let's go Islanders. Yes, yes, yes. All right, why else do I love this time of the year? Because along with playoff hockey comes baseball and the Mets and going to City Field and watching the game and watching the team play, a great pitching staff. So April's one of my favorite times of the year. It's also my brother's birthday. Well, I'll give him a shout out, Rich, because it's his birthday, but my half birthday, but only his half birthday counts. But what I love about April is NAB, playoff hockey, and the start of the baseball season. So that's what our pre-show is about. Be all, by all means, on uh, Facebook, if you want to chime in on what your favorite team is, where you think hockey's going to go for the pre-show, hey, I'll take it. Maybe you hate the Islanders. Maybe you love them. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't care. I just wanted to talk about something that's a little bit different than video and stuff like that because we are going to get to that on the NAB show. Now, we're doing things a little bit different because we've got a new operator. We're going to have a little bit more of a basic show. Just letting you know, you know, we're going to take out some of the fancy stuff. And one of the things that we're not doing for this show is going through the wilds of Clearcaster because they've had a update to their firmware, which of course creates some problems when you first start going. We can get a chance to test it through. So I can't see the interactivity of the questions today. So I apologize for that, especially since the last couple of shows we have been getting some questions. But Today's show is about the NAB show in Vegas. It was a very exciting show. There was some really exciting news that came out from several of our vendors. And I can't wait to get that to you. But just one more time, want to hold it up. Yes, yes, yes. Islanders, let's go. Let's sweep. Let's beat the Penguins. All right, Eddie, uh, not Eddie, Oliver, you can roll the bump and we can start the official show. Video Guys is available. All right, welcome to Video Guys Newsday Tuesday. You give us about 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, we're gonna tell you about the products we sell, what's going on in the industry, what's new, what's exciting. Today's show, all about the NAB show last week in Vegas, a lot of good stuff. In fact, I'm gonna be honest right now, we're gonna do a hard stop of 2.30. So I have a feeling that I've got probably 45 minutes to an hour's worth of content to go over with all the things that happened. Sometimes I tend to talk too fast and people say slow down, so I'm going to try to talk slowly. And if we can't get to all the things on the show today, we're going to have a second show tomorrow featuring whatever we don't get to. At the same time, 2 p.m. is our NAB wrap-up part two. But we're streaming this live on Facebook today. Are we going live to YouTube at the same time or just Facebook? Just Facebook because we are going to piece together everything after we're done with the two-day shows for YouTube. So we're only live on Facebook today, but we're going to be talking about live production, post-production, production tools, and storage. It's a whole lot to cover from some really great vendors. So let's jump right in and see what we got. Okay, we're going to start live streaming and production. The biggest news by far of the show was VizRT acquiring new tech. Now, VizRT is a well-known leader in the industry. They are the people who give you the little circles around the soccer players when you're moving around on the field or the trajectories of the home run balls. They do all kinds of analytics and graphics. They do the election graphics when you see, you know, the amount of electoral votes rising out of the states or a counter that's going. It's really high-end graphics. They are in just about every broadcast facility in the world. And now they've purchased new tech. What does this mean? Well, for new tech, it means 
that they're now going to have a company in the broadcast arena that they can bring their technology into. That's the TriCasters, and of course, it's NDI as well. What does it also mean for us as a new tech dealer? Well, I'm hoping that we're going to get some lower-end, easier-to-use graphics from the Viz Group that we can give to TriCasters. I know there's a lot of high schools and smaller college uh, teams, local college teams, and local minor league affiliates that don't have the kind of budget for a full broadcast Viz solution, but would love to be able to show some of those graphics that really differentiate you from everybody else. So we're super excited about this. A lot of information it just came out like the day before the show started, so it's very fresh with everyone. We're all trying to figure out exactly what it means, but I'm really excited and the new tech event at NAB where they unrolled that they were purchased by Viz and what their roadmap for the future was was just spectacular and you can't discuss that roadmap without going into NDI. I fully believe NDI was the secret sauce on why VizRT purchased new tech. It is everywhere. There were thousands of companies have added NDI to their products. I think someone counted that it was in over 50 or 60 booths throughout NAB had, I think the number was 78 booths, across NAB that were running some kind of NDI software, hardware, a combination thereof. It's being used by Panasonic, Avid, Microsoft, Skype, Epic Games, you see the list. So many people jumping on board the NDI bandwagon. Why? Because it's a proven technology that gives you the capability to increase the productivity of your broadcast, to save on people, to save on all those other things that make a show so expensive. You can do automation, all kinds of cool things. The largest IP video production ecosystem in the world today is New Tech NDI. So congratulations to Dr. Cross and the whole team at New Tech for being acquired by VizRT and more importantly for where NDI is and where it's going. New Tech, of course, introduced some new products. So let's jump right in. They introduced the Spark Plus line of encoders. They have the Spark Plus, which is an HDMI input device that gives you uh, that goes directly from. HDMI to NDI, and the Spark Plus is $499, and they show the Spark Plus 4K. That's right, a 4K NDI encoder for $599. That's just incredible. The prices on these encoders keep going down because the technology is getting better and better, and, and the different vendors are reaching economies of scale. We're very excited about these products. You can have tally lights, USB power, uh, near zero latency, it's the full NDI, and we'll have more on that availability as it becomes, we expect that to be shipping this summer. They were also showing the TriCaster 410 Plus, now that's going to be available immediately, and that is a, basically what I want you to think of the 410 Plus is like, you know, the TC1 is what we use to run our show, the 410 Plus is an under $10,000 version of the TC1. One. So what do you have? Same great features, just a little bit less. You have eight inputs versus 16 with the TC1. You have 1080p 60 resolution, doesn't go up to 4K. You have one channel of Skype instead of two. You have one channel of line streaming instead of multiple. And you have three multi-viewer displays, but you get the full advanced edition and you get all, and it supports all the premium access features. So the 410, basically what's happened is, is the older models, 410, 460, 860, 8, 8000, kind of end of life now. And really because the computer inside of them just isn't really powerful enough to do all the great stuff that new tech has unleashed with Advanced Edition 3 and Premium Access. So the 410's got all the horsepower they need under the hood to take full advantage of both those products. So really excited because now we have a 10, 000, under $10,000 TriCaster that totally kicks butt. They also announced new features in Premium Access. That's a subscription model where you can subscribe to Premium Access to get additional features for your TriCaster. Live Story Creator lets you convert a Microsoft Word script document into a show. Super cool. Unlimited NDI recording, that means any computer on the network can be used to record to NDI. And also digital media I.O. so you can get any kind of aspect ratios you want. Premium access just keeps getting better and better. If you're a facility, you really want to be signing up for that because it gives you the keys to the vault. Every time they're adding new features, they're adding them in premium access. All right, the next guys I want to talk about are Bird Dog. Bird Dog makes converters. They make 4K convert. They announced their line of 4K converters. Super exciting. It's more than one product. There's a couple products in that line. So there's still the Studio NDI and Mini. Now, what's important about that is they repriced it. So the Studio, the the the. 
Bird Dog Mini is now $4.95, and the Bird Dog Studio is now on sale for $6.95. And then they've also got the 4K HDMI model for $8.95, which we hope will be shipping shortly. It's uh, I'm going to hope that it comes by the end of June. That's, that's what everyone's on target for. We're very excited about those products. And they also have a 4K 12 gig SDI version, which is really exciting because it's got multiple inputs at 995, uh, 4K 12G at 95. And then the one that I'm really excited about is this 4K quad model for 1995 that gives you four 12G SDI inputs and outputs. So this thing is just not just a converter, it's converting multiple, four streams at the same time for $2,000. To me, that's just incredible. I can't wait for that product to ship. I can only imagine where some system integrators and people are going to put that in now that they're getting that level of power and performance. And of course, it gives you encode and decode. So very, very excited about that product. Next on the list, Matrox. Matrox is showing a new product called the Monarch Edge. The Monarch Edge is a brand new dedicated device for broadcast quality H.264 encoding. And it'll do up to 4K or multi-HD webcasting. It's called the Edge. It supports, there's a version that supports 10-bit encoding, so it's the highest quality rate we've seen out there yet for encoder like this, and that's gonna be about $10,000. And they're gonna have an 8-bit encoder for about $7,500. Now, this is not a product for any Joe consumer to buy. This is really intended for people who do system integration to be put into a larger facility, a larger, uh, a, a larger as part as a piece a solution to a larger solution so it's very exciting it's super super high quality encoding they've created their own uh chips for this which also means they're gonna have other cool things down the road like potential boxes that do decode or ndi and other stuff like that but this is their first product the monarch edge we're super excited about it. that should be shipping shortly and if you're a system integrator and you want to learn more about that by all means give us a call next up Epifan. Epifan wasn't showing any new products, but they showed something that I'm so excited about. It. The Epifan Pearl 2 with the latest firmware now has NDI support. And I've been begging the folks at Epifan to jump on the NDI bag and for well over a year. Why? Because it is the bullet train that's changing the industry. And now with the Epifan Pearl, you'll be able to use those all the sources or outputs, inputs or outputs as NDI. So this is a super exciting feature. The, Pearl, the Pearl now becomes an NDI appliance. I know we have Pearls in several uh, government or school or other corporate type organizations where there's multiple Pearls. And now, not only can you control them, but you can get them access to different points because they're gonna be NDI, so they're gonna become active on the network and all NDI devices can see each other and communicate with each other. So this is a huge breakthrough for the folks at Epifan. Kudos to Epifan, kudos to uh, the folks at New Tech for helping this happen. The Epifan Pearl 2 with NDI support, a top requested feature. Well done, Epifan. Epifan is also running a promotion for NAB, which we put together with them, which is the Webcaster X2 now includes three free months of Switchboard Cloud. Now, we did a show on Switchboard Cloud with the folks from uh, Switchboard just last week, so I don't want to go into too many details other than saying you're getting $300 worth of Switchboard software basically for free with a $299 device in the Webcaster. And now you can go up from the Webcaster to the cloud, and from the cloud you can go to Facebook, YouTube Live, uh, any other live RTMP stream for multiple carriers to multiple CDNs all at the same time, just for a monthly subscription. So very cool. We love Switchboard and we're glad to be bundling it for free with the Epifan Webcaster X2. Next up, Sling Studio. The folks at Sling Studio weren't showing any new products, but their booth was still pretty exciting. And still, what I think is so cool about the Sling product that's happening and why it's becoming a product that's being used by coaches and trainers to improve the capabilities of their athletes. So they're using the multi-camera capabilities of the Sling Studio in order to take different angled shots of what the students or what the athletes are doing. And that's where they're really putting a lot of effort into. We did a show on that talking about some of the features they had, if you'll go back a few weeks ago, but they keep developing, keep developing new features. We're really excited about Sling Studio. It was a cool product, and although they weren't ready to release anything at NAB, there's plenty of good stuff coming down the road. Live View Solo. We've done great. We've done a lot of shows on the Live View Solo HDMI and the Live View Solo with HDMI and SDI. We're going to have some new bundles coming soon. What those bundles are going to include is right out of the box, you're going to be able to get the Solo with the modems, 
with the carrier service with an unlimited carrier plan. We're very excited about this. We think that the it's been the missing piece to simplify and get more people to get into solos. If you have a solo already, we'll have packs available with modems and carrier and unlimited plans. So look for that on a future show. We'll probably bring in one of the guys from Live View when we do that, but we're very excited about that product. Roland was showing the VR1 HD, an all AV streaming mixer, all together unit. Very nice. Roland's been really improving their product line over the last year or so. And at $14.95, we think this product's going to be real exciting. It gives you an audio mixer and a microphone. It has the ability for the audio to follow who's speaking. It's got a lot of automated uh, features like that as well. And at $14.95, it's a great thing for those running gunners, schools, churches who want to use a simple solution that's easy and fun to use. Okay, that's now we're going to get into the second phase of our show, and we're running a little bit ahead of schedule, so I'm very excited about that, and that's post-production and editing. And you can't talk about post-production and editing without talking about Avid. Avid introduced a new version of Media Compose with a brand new face, brand new skin, great features and performance. The most important thing is, is it's not 4K, it's not 8K, it's up to 16K HDR. They're blowing out what was the common limitations of... Uh, frame rates of resolution and sizes like that this is really built to scale to much bigger levels you're it's available in may you're going to have avid, the brand new avid media composer starting at uh 199 per year for the rep base unit or 499 per year for the uh ultimate su subscription we're really excited about this because one of the things that i can't stress enough is that avid has been listening over the last couple of years avid's been running uh, ACA polls of users. They've been visiting editors at every level from kids editing for YouTube all the way up to people producing, you know, major broadcast shows and theatrical releases and movies. They've been saying, you know, what are the features you most want to see in Media Composer? Well, Avid has listened to you, the editors, across the country, across the world, and they've really de delivered a brand new updated version of Media Composer that really hits all the main features people were asking for. And that's a big thing because when Avid listens, we all get more and we all get better products. So kudos to Avid on that. Kudos to the ACA. Kudos to everyone who voted. And kudos to everyone I met at Avid Connect. If you're going to be at NAB next year and you're in the post-production world, make sure you get to Avid Connect. There's so much knowledge being spread out. It's really exciting. We're going to do a show dedicated to the new version of Media Composer in the near future. Hope to have some tutorials available very soon also because it's the same muscle memory. If you know how to edit on an Avid, you're still going to be able to. But lots of cool features, lots of productivity, lots of tools, and most importantly, an interface that really you can move around the things that you need when you want to use them. Tabs that make much more sense to make more use of your screen real estate. They really did a good job. Congratulations to the whole team at Avid on that. Well, Avid's going to the other extreme too with Nexus Cloud Spaces. That means now everyone who owns an Avid X Nexus will be able to get space in the Microsoft Azure Cloud. That space can be used for nearline, offline, or Maybe if you're crazy enough, online editing. What's cool about it is if you own a Nexus, you know how easy it is to set up your shares, your, 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 your folders, your, air, your directories, and what people are going to get access to, your bins. I mean, we're talking Avid, so your bins. Well, you can actually have bins that exist on the cloud now, on the cloud space. That's going to open up a whole new level of archiving and productivity and workflows. It's just the beginning for Avid editors. So we're really excited about that. It's going to be on a subscription model. It's a little bit complicated, so we're going to ex explain that in the next Avid show too. But this is a real cool way to test out the cloud to get some of the advantages of it without getting bogged down in it. Very good. Very excited for Avid on that. Now, I also want to add one more thing that Avid announced. I think it's really cool because we're talking about the cloud a little bit. They announced a partnership with a Bebop, and that Bebop is a cloud-based virtualized editing solution that we're really excited about. I know the guys behind Bebop, they're good guys, they're very smart guys, and we hope to be bringing you more of that in the future. We don't carry the line right now, so I didn't want to give it its own slide, but I'm pretty confident that Bebop uh, virtualized Avid solutions will be brought to you soon from video guys. Next, we have Telestream. What's so exciting about Telestream? Well, they're the first software company to in introduce support for ProRes RAW. That means now you can convert files using Switch to and from ProRes RAW. I think this is a major milestone for Apple because up till now, the only real company supporting ProRes RAW 
was Atomos. We're going to get to them later. But now the, the ecosystem's growing, ProRes is being adopted by more and more people, and we think having a product like Switch in your toolbox that'll let you convert to and from ProRes is just a no-brainer. So good job, Telestream. Production and filmmaking. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to all the items in this category, because there's a lot, so I'm gonna give my best to get this done by uh, 2.30. So hang on tight, I gotta take a sip of water, folks. The Atomos booth was insane. First of all, they had guys on skateboards and on bicycles, like doing stunts on ramps and going up high and falling down. I don't know how these kids do it. I was exhausted just watching them. But the big product they were showing was the Shogun 7. The Shogun 7 is an HDR cinema monitor recorder. It is set up for people with the super high-end cinema cameras, you know, RE, RED, Blackmagic, Panasonic, Sony. These are high-end cameras, and the Shogun 7 is going to really do some great stuff with it, advancing their feature set to the next level of products and cameras. If you're a cinema camera shooter, the Shogun 7 is going to be number one on your wish list for 2019. So that's a cool product. We're really excited about it. We're going to be bringing the folks in Atomos into a show in a couple weeks ago over all the NAB announcements and special promotions. Why? Because it keeps growing. It keeps getting better and better. You know, the Atomos XSDI is, adds SDI to a Ninja 5 for 199 bucks. So the Ninja 5 is a great product. It's our best-selling product. It was our top product of 2018. And now they've gone and added a simple adapter that lets you add SDI input to it. These guys are just, they're crazy what they're doing with this stuff. How crazy are they? They're blowing out prices too. The Shogun Inferno, $999. The Ninja Inferno, $799. For under $1,000, the Shogun Inferno is by far and away the world's most powerful, best, seven inch monitor field recorder in the history of mankind. This is a great deal. We love the Ninja because it's small and it's five inches, which is great for a DSLR. But if you've got a more full rig, take advantage of those extra two extra inches of screen real estate and get yourself a Shogun Inferno, or if you just have HDMI out, the Ninja Inferno. These are fantastic products, proven products used by videographers all over the world. And now they are on a pricing that is just incredible. And those specials go through 430. Next on our list was the folks over at PT Optics. Now they leaked this product earlier. They're calling it wireless cable. And basically it is a wireless solution that comes pre-linked with a transmitter and receiver, a bonded pair, so to speak, that uses bonded wireless technology. And it allows you to communicate with a PTZ camera over a distance of up to 1300 feet. This is real incredible. We have a lot of people who want to do say college sports or a sports type situation where they have a camera that's very far away from where their switcher is. Maybe it's a new tech uh, TriCast like we use, maybe they're running vMix, maybe it's a rolling mixer, whatever it is. And they need to be able to not just get the video signal from that PTZ camera, I'm sorry, because I'm pointing to our PTZ camera, back to the, to the editing system, but they also want to be able to control the PTZ camera. So that's why they call this a wireless cable because the same exact control and in information you would get over the PTZ camera by having it wired into your solution, now you get it via wirelessly. And why is this so exciting? Because we've had a lot of people have great wireless transmission systems. We'll get to the Teradek Bolt stuff later, they're the leaders, but what I love about this so much is it's both communication, control, and the video stream, 1,500 feet. It's really, really cool. I kind of, it's not NDI, so I don't want to say it's NDI, but kind of think of it that way. You're getting this wireless two-way communication of your PTZ camera, which to me is just nuts. Pricing hasn't been defined yet, so I can't go into it, but it's, it's going to be affordable, folks, and I think it's going to be something that's very exciting, and it's got very low latency, and I think those of us in especially sports, but maybe you're in bigger venues where you can't always be wired together. It's going to be a big player and it comes paired. It's super easy to set up. And this is just the first thing that's coming new from PTZ Optics. I was at the show, you know, I always talk to you, there are a secret room you can take me to show me some good stuff. And they blew me away. There's good stuff coming that I can't even talk about. These guys are just pushing the envelope for PTZ cameras and operations and you know, I got to give credit to Paul and the Stream Geeks because they, they use this stuff all the time just like we do. They talk to and they listen to their customers and they say, what do you need? And they give them the features they need most. So great job by PTZ Optics. I can't wait for the wireless cable pr product to be shipping. Teradek, they're, they're the leaders of wireless 
communication, wireless bonding, and uh, for video. And the Teradek folks, we had John Lamman on our show a few days ago. They're introducing a new under thousand dollar transmitter and receiver up to 500 feet, the Teradek Ace 500. This really brings that level of co connectivity for the first time, Teradek quality under a thousand dollars. I'm looking forward to this product a lot. When you just want to get from your camera straight into your uh, straight into your mixer, it is a great choice. Of course, I mentioned the bolts, and the Bolt 4K is on the opposite side of the extreme. If you're a 4K video shooter and you need to get uncompressed 4K 60 HDR video with zero delay from one point to another point, there's nothing better than the Bolt 4K. It's a brand new product. Kudos to the folks at Teradek. They're pushing the envelope further than anyone I think really thought possible with uh, wireless communications, wireless video transmission, because not only you get you the quality, you get zero delay. A lot of people deliver quality, but you get a delay. Or you get zero delay, you don't get just great quality. Teradek gives you both. Also what they have that's cool is a wireless lens control system. Now this control system is for higher end cameras like the RED and stuff like that, but we're really excited about this and that's coming in May and we hope to be uh, talking more about that product when it's available. The sister company of Teradek is Small HD and Small HD of course has some new monitors starting at 399. The biggest one that they're most excited about is the Focus 7 Bolt. That's a seven inch monitor that's wireless. So it's got a Bolt receiver built into it. So now if you've got a Bolt anywhere on the network, you could be monitoring what that camera is shooting. Now that is fantastic for producers and directors and other people on the set who wanna be able to see how the video is looking while you're shooting it. So that's a really cool product. We're excited about it. And I think it's shipping almost immediately. Small HD was also showing their Cine line of record of monitors with uh, wireless transmissions. So, so they have transmitters and receivers. They have the Cinema 7500 transmitter that'll transmit to someone's bolt receiver, and the Cinema 7500 receiver, which will which will receive from someone's bolt up to 500 feet away. And then they have the receiver monitor combination gets a little more expensive, but these are really cool tools that are used on film sets, on live productions all the time. Storage solutions, we're at 223. Are we gonna go for it? And do we think we can do this in seven minutes? Oliver's giving me the nod. We're gonna go for storage solutions today, folks. All right, first and foremost, Armor ATD from GTEC. I play with these drives. They're rugged, they're sexy, they're cool. They also run very cool, starting at $89.95. They support Thunderbolt 3 and USB 3, USB-C connect connectivity with Thunderbolt 3. Spinning disks gonna be available in SSDs as well in the future. Relentless under pressure. They built these to be the most rugged drives in the world and they just might have achieved it. Folks at Lassie, they've got a product called the Rugged RAID Shuttle. There's two drives in there. So now you can do it as RAID 0 or RAID 1, protected or RAID 0 for speed, and this is gonna give you 250 megabytes or up to 440 in, in RAID 0 uh, uh, of performance on a real rugged portable device. They call it the shuttle because they were actually throwing it around, which I don't advise you do, but you know, at the, in their booth, it's a very rugged product that now has a RAID, their first rugged RAID, nice little product. They were also showing the two big RAIDs. You know if you're a fan of this site, if you're a fan of our videos, that I love the big two dock with the dock in it. Well, that's a great product, but the folks at Lissy said, not everybody needs a dock. We want to give them the greatest deal possible, the best value in the world on a two drive RAID. And they have four terabytes at 419, up to 16 terabytes at 739. Uh, connected speeds up to 440 megabytes per second over USB-C. This is USB-C, it also supports the older versions of USB. Great product, great price, great performance. I expect nothing less from the C. It's black instead of silver, still looks great. The folks at Glyph were showing a lot of new stuff. And one of the things we're real excited about is their Thunderbolt 3 dock and their Atom Pro NVMe. The Atom Pro NVMe uses NVMe SSD storage. It's super lightning fast. And the Thunderbolt 3 dock is the first dock we've offered in a long time. We're real excited about it. And the folks at Glyph did a good job with that. They're also showing card readers, a quad SD, micro SD, and a CF and SD card reader. 
I'm really excited about the CF card reader because CFAST transfer speed is about the 550 megabytes per second. That's what you need when you're using these big systems that run on CF cards, CFAST, you want to get that data off quickly and that's a great reader for that. Also, Atom SSD drives are on sale starting at $199.95. Black Box Pro SSD is two SSDs in a RAID, a tough external solution, USB 3 or 0, starting at 139. And Black Box Plus is starting at 195 for more professional storage as well. Whoa. Well, we're missing a slide, and I apologize for that because the folks at Glyph were also showing. RAID 2s with docs built into them, which was super cool. And they were also, oh, I know what it was. They wouldn't show us slides because they weren't even seeing pictures of it yet. But they were also showing two other products I'm going to tell you about. They have two drive RAID systems that include docs built into it, which the doc includes CFAST. And they're also ha showing drives that have uh, fingerprint readers for security. So they're portable little drives that now you can do a fingerprint reader. And with that reader, your, your data is protected. You could also plug in via USB and do a password, but we're getting a lot of requests from our customers for data protection. If it's just people paranoid in today's day and age, or whether it's you know major uh, film places you know reacting to what happened to Sony years ago, they want to know that this data is protected, and they want data protection and encryption. This is the first level of that, a protected drive that you can't get into without the fingerprint ID or the password. Very cool, good job by the folks at Glyph, so I want to thank them. And, Somehow or other, I brought this thing under 30 minutes. I am so proud of myself. So today's show was all about NAB. We're real excited. The NAB show was a great show. Remember, you can watch us live at videoguys.com slash live, or just give us a call at 800-323-2325. we got people like me, like Oliver, Janice, Jim, we're here. We can answer your questions about these products. We can help you put together the products that fit your need and budget. If you've got existing products, you're looking at some of these new products, we can help tell you how they work together or what your upgrade paths or what your trade-in paths are. We pride ourselves on having live human beings who can help you get the most out of the products we sell so that you can create the content you want and tell the stories you want. We make it easy for storytellers to be more creative. So this is Gary from VideoGuys.com. I got the whole NAB recap in. Now, over the next few weeks, we will be doing in-depth features on individual vendors probably for the next four or five weeks. We may have to do two shows a week on some weeks to get them all in, but it was an exciting NAB show. I know I glossed over a ton of stuff very quickly today, so I apologize for that. But we're super excited to have today's show. This is Gary from Video Guys. But before I sign out, Let's go Islanders, beat the Penguins, win the cup. Yes, yes, yes. Gary from Video Guys, peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.